and we're back with some more Cosmeteer and its little ships of destruction where you get to chew up other ships. But before we get around to uh, doing a little bit of a refit on our main combat ship, we're going we're gonna to increase the firepower substantially is the plan. I have to make some changes to our little cargo ship. Sorry, big cargo ship. First and main problem, I never noticed it, was these lasers up the front or the mining lasers. Turns out they can interfere with each other and I never noticed because I never put on this overlay. And if we slow it down a bit and turn them on, you'll see that some of the lasers are hitting off the back. Like, see those? These lasers here are smacking right off the back of that turret. Turns out in PvP mode, if you have that happening, yeah, the friendly fire is pretty damaging. So we're lucky on that front. So we need to make some changes to the ship so it can do this more efficiently. And this is the result of those changes. Will it work? Who knows? But we split it up. We've now got two batches of six turrets, each powered by a large reactor core. And... We've gone with 18 crews, six to man the turrets, and then another two loaders just to bring energy to them to see if we can keep these things going constantly. And then it's just, well, let's see if it works. Uh, you guys, that looks much better. And if we look at it from the outside, yep, yep, not interfering with each other. So long as we were mating straight on with things, it'll work just fine. And then we cranked it up to speed eight. All right, so maybe there's not quite enough loaders for the power, but I think, oh. I can't see anything half the time. There's too many lines. There we go. And uh, let's slow down the speed just a little bit and see where we're messing up. Is there any way we can improve the efficiency on this? Huh. From what I can see, this is working fairly solidly. We could throw in a few more people to maybe up the efficiency a bit, but I think it's fast enough. We don't really care. We're able to strip mine entire ships fast enough that I'm not too worried. Oh. And we've made sure that all of our sulfur is now stored up front. I mean, if we're going to lose some cargo, it might as well be the sulfur. Uh, so and it just seemed kind of funny. Plus, this way I know when we're starting to stock up on too much sulfur and I can empty the ship of it. Also, did a little bit more sorting back here. So we have our hyper coils, diamonds, processors, all of our regular coils, our tritanium stuff. Oh, and all of our raw resources will get stored over here. I think in general, the ship is looking just about right. That means we've got to now concentrate on our little combat ship. This thing is smaller than our cargo ship, which seems a bit odd, but I suppose kind of makes sense. And we have to increase its firepower substantially. Running into the odd enemy that has shields that are so tough it takes us several volleys to get through them, or flak that's so tough it also takes us several volleys to get through it. And it's only going to get worse as we go on to tougher areas. I mean, we're only in 12 to 14. There is a 15 to 17 right there I would like to hit up. Is there anything better than 15 to 17? I think 15 to 17. Oh, no, there's a 16 to 18. Ooh, should we go that way? Oh, there's a 16 to 18. Yeah, we'll hit up a 16 to 18 next, and that's probably going to be pretty tough. So let's maybe... Actually, no, 16 to 18 is way over there. Fine, we'll hit up to 15 to 17 first. How much firepower, though, can we squeeze into this sucker? So I was sort of thinking double the firepower, double your fun. So we just copy-pasted this over here, and now I'm trying to figure out what we're going to squeeze in between the rails. We definitely need some shielding in here, because if anything touches any of those rails, the explosion will core the ship from stem to stern. So we need to, like, definitely have lots of shielding and flak and protection. But I think we could just sort of... In fact, I'm pretty sure right now we could slide this back in here, and the game will probably just tell us if it's okay with that. Yeah, we even got enough command points. Okay, we definitely have to put on more engines, but that in general is what we're doing. And, oh, then I get to see how much materials it is, if we can afford to build this. Oh, and I want to move all the cockpits and stuff into the center. We're going to put all the delicate stuff in the core, and this is all going to, going to become even more engines. Now, this is a rough outline of what we're aiming for. Now, do bear in mind, we are in creative mode, so we haven't actually applied this to the real save. This is just some creative shenaniganry to see what's happening. Uh, another thing, we've basically doubled up on... The flak slash shielding front and rear. Why not? S symmetry and all that. In the center, we've moved along our sensors, and why is no one manning those sensors? There was some missing doors. Also, I somehow seem to be able to place two doors on these things now. I didn't think I could do that before, but there's two doors on that cruise quarters. Normally, you can only get one. Oh, well, it is what it is. Uh, I'll complain about that later. In the center, we've got our sensors behind a layer of armor plating, and finally, our control deck also behind a little bit of armor plating. I figured, why not make it at least mildly thematically appropriate. Now, uh, down here I wanted to make some changes, namely to do with the thrusters. See this way this thruster is sticking out really far? Well, that might be causing some problems. You see, this shield, I think, is intersecting with that, which is cutting down on its radius. So if we delete this, this shield radius should increase. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there you go. So I need to move all of those engines back a chunk just to make sure it all lines up nice and neat. That is so much tidier. We've managed to 
line up the shields with the actual engines themselves. We've cut down on some of the crew requirements over here because we've made this uh, self-contained. We've stuck in some power generators here, so the crew in here are able to power this. They do not need to interact with any other parts of the ship. So these six crew members, their only job is to keep the cannons fed with ammo and the ammo machines fed with sulfur and power. That's it. If we need more people in there, we can. I just prefer not to, but we could definitely stick in to four more people if necessary for each of the two railgun seg segments. Or actually, yeah, this is two railgun segments that's separated from these two. These are all little modular chunks we can just throw on. And this over here is now looking nice, neat, and organized, and we squeezed in an extra shield generator. Don't know if we'll have, we might need to squeeze in some more crew there, but that can be arranged. Now, I just need to do the same up top. You'll notice these things are all wonky as well, and they don't look even, and I want to organize it and clean it up so that we can start cramming some engines in here in the middle. We can remove it about 86 or 89 meters per second now. We need to be able to top 100 meters per second if we want to be able to not get run down by our enemies and slaughtered. We're a glass cannon. We're not a chug away at people cannon we're a fly backwards so that they can't hit us cannon i'll just go over how minimal the surgery we're doing here is just to squeeze out that little bit of extra space this here is a chunk it's basically one crew module one reactor one engine room and this power provides power to all the engines so all our crew have to do is come in here and dump en energy across from this section one to the other really quickly refuels all our engines while giving a 50 percent thrust boost to all of these engines that's why these engine rooms are just critical this over here, you'll notice it's a bit sticky outy and it's not quite the same and it's not quite level. So literally all we're doing is this, grabbing these three, moving them back one tile, done. Uh, grabbing this shield generator, moving it forward one tile, actually both of them. And then we just got to tidy this up. So we're moving these just out of the way, move that in there, that in there. Uh, this is the warp core thingy that allows us to warp, trans warp about the place. Then what we do is we stick in the uh, the air dock. That's what allows our airlock. That's what allows our crews to get in there. And then we just move all that stuff around like that. And boom, put in some extra doors. Delete a few bits and bobs here and there. I'll have to double check the dooring, but that's it. That's all we're really doing. And it just lines things up much more nicely and neatly. Our shields get a little bit better arcs and everything works out better. So we can cram in more stuff in the middle here. We might need to extend the rails a little bit though. One thing I love about this game though, is it makes it really easy to modify your ships. Like I could use some horizontal flippy axis thing in there, but instead what I want to do is just say, grab this and I want to copy it to the other side. So control C, uh, this side unfortunately is filled with this junk. So we just delete it Then we hit control V like just windows shortcuts for the love of god and then we hit flip horizontally you'll notice the way this is the wrong way around we just hit flip horizontally and boom it's mirror imaged itself done just little quality of life features like that you know someone who plays this game is just appreciates them so much ah. all right let's maybe sort out the crew requirements on this and see how fast it goes let's just give this prototype a little bit of a spin it's not even close to ready like just miles away from it but how fast can it go uh we're looking at about 87.8 meters per second not even close not even close i'm telling you uh yeah stay still for a second we're gonna need to extend this out a bit we're gonna probably have to chuck on a couple of rails because what we want to do is squeeze in some more engines here we could make the ship wider but i don't want to really increase our profile i would prefer if we could maybe make ourselves a little bit longer instead. We're starting to get a little bit, you know, chubby on the on the width-wise. And this is the result of squeezing in a bunch of engines. Uh, yeah, we got six engines, three pointing each direction, same here, and I have no idea how well these are gonna work. Let's just check what our speed is. That's the most important thing anyway. We're gonna head out all the way to there. And... Okay, once you've hit top speed, 92 meters per second. Oh, that is not great. That is not great at all. We want more speed than that. Hmm. What are our options? More engines. We just stuck on six more. Why not? Let's see how fast she can go now. And if she's not fast enough, well, I think we know the solution to that problem. You, off you go. 96? You're telling me with all of that engine, extra engine power, all you can do is 96. Ooh. There's like an upper limit once you start hitting certain thrust levels. In that case, we're just... Gonna have to stick on more engines. So when we added on more engines, we needed another flight deck because we didn't have enough command points. So if we're gonna put in another flight deck thingy that gives us the command points, we might as well just put in more engines. Now let's see how fast she can go. All right, off you go. Uh, 102 meters per second. Yep, that's about where we wanna be. 
This thing is just going to be all engine. 102 meters per second in reverse. Now, there have been questions. Why don't we just make a ship that can, you know, go really fast frontways and then, like, have the rail guns point backwards so that we come up to the enemy, flip 180 degrees, and then burn away from them while firing? Yes, we could. That would actually be a very efficient way to do things. But no, I like the idea of just being able to run up to a ship, blap it in the face, and then just run away from it in reverse just as fast as we can go forward. And I mean, so long as it's working, I don't really see a need to change it. Uh, we'll just keep pushing it as far as we can. However, build-wise, I've stuck this, crammed this thing all the way down the back of the build square. The build square extends all the way up to here. That way I figure we can just start extending the rails now and putting on more engines as we go. So this should work. Hey, I'm going to save the blueprint and then we're going to move over to the real game and see if we can actually afford to build this monstrosity. Oh, our little ship looks so dainty in comparison to the monstrosity we've been building. In fact, let's... What was the speed of this ship? Let's maybe test that before we uh, go and erase it. Hey, what's your top speed there, buddy? Your top speed is 102 meters per second, so you're not that bad, actually. You're going to be pretty close. In fact, you're slightly better than the current ship we're going to be building. However, your firepower will be less than half. We're going to have eight rails instead of four, and those rails are going to have an extra four accelerators on them. So the rails will be 50% longer, and there will be twice as many of them. So the damage increase is going to be, like, a lot, a lot. Um, that's assuming we, again, assuming we can afford this thing, which, honestly, not too sure about that. Eh. Anyway, it's right beside our cargo ship, and we seem to be short. Insufficient resources. We need more triterium. And we need more uranium. People say they never need to, like, go and harvest resources or do any sun mining. I definitely need to do it because I build stuff too much. Oh, uh, I build too many reactors. The thing is, reactors cost uranium. Uranium is one of those things that's a little bit trickier to find than most because you usually end up popping most of the reactors in enemy ships. And even if you don't, you're still going to be kind of short considering the amount of reactors I use. A lot of people would recommend you use things like... Capacitors. Capacitors don't take uranium and can store power. The problem is you have to fuel them from a reactor, but assuming it's a low usage scenario, then you can get away with it. However, my argument would be this. This thing here, it produces, it, it releases power one battery at a time. This small reactor does the exact same job, except it explodes when it dies and it costs more money. But they both weigh the same amount of money, produce the same amount of power, all that stuff. It's just this one requires less crew, can be placed somewhere and forgotten about. And capacitors, sure, they don't explode and have a few advantages, but I would prefer to just stick down a small reactor and be done with it. Anyway, we are going to have to do some sun mining. I'll do that off screen. Oh, I'll show a new design, actually. And grab enough triterium and uranium to make this work. Or I could just kill the ship. No, 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 no. Let's let's go do some sun mining. It'll be faster that way. After some helpful feedback from the comments last time, we came up with this new design. It's uh, the refined sun needle or sun spike or whatever you want to call it. It is the tiniest crew efficient little sun diving needle we can come up with. These shields are so tiny that if we turn even an millimeter left or right, we're going to get fried by the sun. But that's okay. That's okay. We're just going to dip in. Have a quick look, see what's around here. We're looking for uranium, basically. If we find uranium, great. If we don't, we just dip right back out again. Now, it takes a bit of time. This ship takes ages to get up to speed and down again because it literally only has a couple of guns. Oh, or two engines. We want to mark that Tritanium asteroid. We're going to be back for that. we got carbon. We don't care about that. Anything else even in closer? Oh, more carbon. No, we don't care. Like, just carbon asteroids. We don't need them. That's any for diamonds. Right now, you'll see this shield is holding up just fine. Like, it's crazy. It's because the the tiny, uh, the shield's been reduced in width so ti so much because of all of the armor plating we've put on. We just basically can almost touch the sun. It's all about surface area. Anyway, oh, uh, I think we've already got a little bit scorchioed yet, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, a little bit scorchioed on one side. Fine, fine, we'll just back out of here real quick. But uh, we found what we were looking for anyway. Carbon. Ooh, there's a uranium asteroid right there. We should go in and have a quick look at that. Right, let's go grab this uranium asteroid. Uh, right about there should be fine. That'll get us just in range. And no damage to the ship so far. Yeah, we're good. Now, when we do get in range, what I've done is I've got the sensors on so that we can actually see stuff that's around. And what is that? Did someone... I think someone decided to fly through here and then ended up uh, torching themselves. But that doesn't matter. No, we're just here for the uranium. Grab that. Uh, we don't care about the gold asteroids, so we're not going to tag that one, and we can turn off our sensors. You see, the thing is, we've got the mining lasers and the collector all on one hotkey, and then we've got the sensors on the other. So we turn off the sensors, 
That frees up crew, and the crew are able to power the mining lasers and the collector. And done. And let's just double check to make sure you got everything there. Yep, we're going to grab all of that. And then once we've got all the uranium, we pop, we reverse right back out. We hand it all over to our collector ship and get on with our day. This is the tiniest sun spike you can possibly make. If you want to build one bigger, then you're probably going to want to put on two collectors on it or something like that. But done. Problem solved. Hey, you reverse right back out. Same way you came. This thing doesn't even have an engine compartment on it. It's just got two of those engines strapped to a reactor. There's no, nothing else. In fact, that reactor is probably too big. I could have made it smaller. Like I said, not exactly a complicated design. Oh, what are you doing here? This is not good, buddy. You don't, no, that is, oh, you're going to just get shredded. The ships are just like incinerating. I assume someone run into someone who shouldn't have. Oh, wow. Uh, let's hope we can plow through that debris without getting turned around. Our ship is doing just fine. We came in to do a little bit of scouting. We found ourselves a titanium asteroid. Um, wow, this place, it would suck to be in here without shielding. And this thing has lost, I think that's its engines back there. Nope, it has some thrusters still there, but... Oh, God. Yep. Goodbye, buddy. Just goodbye. I would stop and collect the parts of you, but it's not actually worth it for us. Oof. Well, anyway, uh, that's why you don't go into a Sun's Corona with a specially designed ship. Sometimes you just find valuable scrap lying around the place. Um, thank you? I don't know who killed it, but it's ours now. There's also a whole bunch of scrap lying all over the place. Uh, I don't think we want it, though. What we want is there is a titanium asteroid in there, and I'd like to get our hands on it. You, I would like you to rotate facing that direction perfectly. Actually, no. Mm. The key to using something with such a small shield radius is keeping it lined up perfectly. Mm, I think you are good. We even stuck a couple of thrusters on the end to help line this thing up faster. Then we want to kind of go straight towards our target. And yeah, right about there should be fine. And off we go. No damage, everything's good. Perfect. How are our shields holding up? Yeah. Oh. We've drifted a little bit, have we? In that case, hit stop. Hit rotate. Select the center of the sun. There we go. That should stop. No, we're still getting damaged. Damn it. Need to rotate slightly that direction. Great, now we're getting hit on the other side. Uh, we might be too close to the sun. I mean, it's a theory. Okay. Rotate right towards the middle. So it turns out you can actually make your shield cone just a little bit too small. Well, it doesn't matter. We can upgrade the ship to something a little bit more resilient. This was just more a uh, proof of concept. Turns out the concept doesn't work when you get deep enough into the sun's corona. It's just you're too narrow. We need something with a slightly wider shield, but that's okay. We have a replacement. This design has wider shields, but it's uh, a little bit more robust at getting deeper into the sun's corona and not getting incinerated. Well, not getting scorched along the sides. It does require us to have two shield generators in, so it's a little bit more expensive, a little bit more crew. Only the same mining power, but it works. All right, let's just grab this tritanium and get out of here. We should be getting close. In fact, actually, no, we need some more uranium. Damn, is that another tritanium asteroid? Uranium has been pretty hard to come by in this sun so far. Well, that was a lot of sun mining. Uh, most of that stuff, we didn't actually mine. We got, we were just after the uranium. We stripped at every single piece of uranium around the sun, and I think we are good. Make it so. Yes, please make it so. Uh, the, this is going to delete the old ship and basically move it all down a notch. Well then, uh, let's see what this looks like. Oh yeah, they were going to have to bring this ship in closer. I wanted to be able to take part in this. No, no, no. Pause for a second. I, I don't want to move you there. Just, uh, yep, yep, right there. It should be fine. There is a lot that went into that ship. There's going to be even more that goes into the next one. Anyway, I'm just going to, like, skip this forward and go grab a cup of tea. And done. Now, 
Oh, there's still a whole bunch of resources here that need collecting. Uh, you should not be collecting them. You don't need those resources. We'll give them instead to the cargo ship, which can take a lot of them in, and then we can uh, give you the necessary ones. Give me a minute to sort stuff out, and oh, there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff that needs sorting out. Namely, crew, make sure everything's on board, that kind of stuff. We'll, we'll figure it out. Our ship is now fully crewed. Problem is, we don't have all of the sulfur and stuff, and instead of trying to manually do all of that, how much sulfur do we need, we have set up these things where we've said, okay, all of this is uh, dedicated towards sulfur, this stuff is dedicated towards the Hyperion fuel, whatever it's called. All of that stuff is set up, but how do we get the ships to, you know, even it out between each other? Well, let's just hail the other ship, and let's go up to this button here, and it says restock left ship or restock right ship. We want to restock the left ship. Which means the right ship will give all the necessary resources to fill up all of the storage capacity in this ship. Which means all of the sulfur gets put in, all of the Hyperion fuel gets put in. Hi what the hell is that fuel called? Hyperion. Yeah, it's Hyperion fuel. And done. Fully stocked. Ready to rock. And why are you... Damn it, damn it. Damn it, I forgot to put in a airlock for some sections. One second, a few minor changes. I mean, there's bound to be some teething difficulties here, but we'll just put in an airlock right here. We have given our ship a name. It is ready to go. Okay, not a very imaginative name, I know, but we needed something for it, and we now have eight railguns. Oh, sorry, yeah. Eight railguns ready to go with 50% more rails on them. Now you, we want to target that. Then we'll target that. And then we'll see how much damage eight rails can do. Nope, you're not rotating fast enough, are you? So since you're not rotating, we'll just speed you along slightly. Oops. May have missed by a bit. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's most of your ship is missing. But it's fine, it's fine. The rest of your ship will be missing it and you'll... Dear God. Okay. That's, uh, we haven't targeted, have we not targeted something? Because I feel like those railguns are just like, oh, wait a minute. Are those railguns set to hold fire? Fire at will. Uh, yeah, I want you to fire a target. This is why you have fire a target. Otherwise, they just start clipping away at everything. This is not being surgical. This is shotgunning your enemy into oblivion and watching them just get shredded. Like, the moment it uh, intersects with any part of the ship, it basically just starts shooting and, oh. Well, never mind, you didn't need that one. How are we looking on the crew front? Everyone's doing their jobs, railguns are getting filled. No downtime, engines worked out perfectly. I think we can move on to the next sector. There's no point hanging around here. This place is too low level. Uh, how are you doing? We still have some enriched uranium, plenty of processors, diamonds, tri-steel. I think the only thing we really need lots more of is the uranium if we want to keep extending the rails on this thing. So we'll keep an eye out for that, but everything else is fair game. Let's move on. We're going to jump in just our uh, our big ship first. Sorry, uh, big ship? That's the wrong word. Uh, oh, Dr. Octorail. Dr. Octorail is going to go in first. Dr. Octorail is going to kill whatever's on the other side. Then we're going to bring in Scrappy afterwards. Oh, if I unpaused it, maybe. All right, this is 15 to 17. Everything here is tougher than the last place. There is literally, even their lowest level of troops will be better than the highest level ones. So, let's slow this down a bit and find a location to explore. There is an unknown signal over there. Let's go check it out. And then we'll clear it. Ooh. Yep, there's something over there. So, what might you be? And can you withstand eight railguns firing at you? And... Ooh! You're... You've got railguns. Railgun, too. Nice, lots of EMP missiles, cannons. You are a chunky, chunky monkey. Why is, how is that your only power supply? Oh wait, no, there's another tiny one over there, small reactor core. I feel like this thing should have, like there's an engine room over here. How is it getting any power? Like if you're pulling power from, you know what, it doesn't matter. We are going to target the bridge and then, how are they firing from that distance? That's inside ours? You know what? How can they be outranging our railguns? They literally are. They're firing their railguns from further away than we are. Well, doesn't matter. We'll slow this down a bit. Uh, our first rail has fired, has it not? Yeah, somewhere. Something like that. Let's rotate slightly to get the rest of the rails in on the... Oh, damn. 
And we still have not done any serious damage, and they have inbound missiles. We took out most of them. Okay, let's rotate back. Oops, there goes their rail cannon, which I'm okay with. Them not having a rail gun makes our lives an awful lot simpler. Ooh. Right, they took out actually a lot of stuff with that. They did some damage, not serious amounts, but enough that it was frustrating. How? Oh, we have literally cored out the entire front of the ship. The only thing left is that. Well, uh, you know what? It's not perfect, but we are still kicking their butt. And there's eight railgun shots and... How? God damn it. We must be running into every armor plate they have positioned along the way. It's fine. It's fine. Rotate one last time and I'm pretty sure that will be it. Yeah. I still don't get how they're able to keep power running to everything so efficiently. They must have enormous crews. I would really like to see inside those ships sometimes. Anyway, I think we can safely bring in our support ship and do some repairs. Let's see how much damage we took. Uh... I think that shield took some damage? Did anything else? I think that's it. Actually, never mind. That was, uh, not really as bad as I was thinking it was going to be. I'll bring in our support ship, we'll heal up, and then find something else to go have a fight with. 87 hyperdrive fuel. Also had to install a bunch more hyperdrives. Turns out we need a lot on something this size. I didn't realize that. I mean, I just figured we'd just pay more. We, we could afford it. Perfect. Now, I gotta Google if there's a way to unload past areas because we're still getting lots of slowdown. We'll find out after we've been here for a while, but if we're still getting an enormous amount of slowdown, I'm definitely gonna have to do something about it because it does get really painful after a while. Now, you. We have set you to not get steel, but, you know, you can grab some more steel for now. So, take it all. Every single last bit of it. Oops. Never mind. Get in there. Unknown contact. Immediately engage. We don't want to get anywhere near our support ship. That thing runs at about the speed of molasses. Looks to be a delicious little missile boat. And by little, I mean freaking enormous. Uh, let's try heading a little bit beyond it. Slow down the time a bit. Maybe we can get in a good round on it before it turns too far. Um, no, I don't think we can, but we'll try. And eight volleys away. What did we do? Not enough. So we took out a whole chunk of armor, but not enough to penetrate through into the soft dangly bits. We'll get there. Uh, from now on, actually, we might want to target that one. That one's up front closer. We can take out maybe one of their control piles. It might paralyze them enough for us to do even more damage. And all I can see that they can shoot us back with is, well, missiles? That's pretty much the only thing they can hit us at this distance. I rotate backwards, and I don't think all of our guns have reloaded. Yeah, maybe rotated it a little bit too. Ah, that's it. The thing is, you got to remember how long it takes for the guns to reload and then kind of rotate in time with them. Uh, sometimes I don't do that so good. It takes a little bit of practice, and it depends on what speed you've got the game running at. Hey, what are you doing? Rotate. Are we, like, out of range of that guy or something? Oh. Never mind, we took out our first target. The thing is, these ships are getting bigger. And when they get bigger, it makes it harder for us. Okay, you get it right about there. You see, we got to adjust our range so that our railguns can actually hit every single square inch of them. Otherwise, if we're targeting something specific, we might not be able to hit it. Oh, they paralyzed. They look to be paralyzed. In that case, let's go in and strategically take out something. We're going to come in from the side here. And try and snipe it out. Can we? And leaves the reactor intact. Takes the ship down. Left for re collection. And there's a nice little reactor right there. We should hopefully like, grab some uranium out of. No. Oh. Yeah, you get back here. Our next target is an asteroid field that has two red blobs moving around in it. I'm going to assume these red blobs are not friendly. Ooh, and I haven't been keeping an eye on our fame. Oh, seriously? You know what? I'm just going to park up on the edge of this. At one point, some of them will wander into range. They'll come over to have a look at us, and uh, we'll shoot them in the face. Oh, here's one now. You are a level 16 Sol Calidus. Ooh. Sol means sun, so... Yeah, I'm guessing it's all of those big red beams you've got in the middle. And a whole bunch of shielding to protect your central lane. Then you've got a control node over here, and a control node over here, and four large reactors. 
Oof. Well, in that case, we're gonna have to target that guy right there. Yeah, that's good. And start reversing. Actually, wait, no, 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 no. We're gonna want to target this guy. We want to hit the side where we can kind of slide in and hopefully bypass those two reactors. If we try and hit that one, we're gonna pass straight through them. And we've already started reversing. This guy's got a little bit of welly to him. Uh Okay, and I still have not repaired our ship. There we go, half the ship is disabled, as in everything on that side is like, ooh. And he's run right into a Hyperion asteroid. Fine by me, buddy. Um, nope, 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 nope. What we want to do is actually get around to the side of this guy. Preferably over here somewhere. Yeah, go that direction. But what are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, we don't really have... Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. what are you? Sol Rentus, 167. You're 167. You're both worth a lot of fame. I'm looking to look at both of you guys. Yeah, hit, hit that guy first. We're going to want to take him... Dear God, the size of these things and the amount of shielding on the front. Same thing again. They've got these little thingies down the sides. Oh, and this guy's got dual railguns. Proper full-sized ones, too. This is going to hurt to own up against this guy. Well... Uh, let's just target... Yeah, let's target the Command X. I think Command X is what we always go for. How much armor plating does this guy have? Uh, let's keep that rotation going. Did we actually pass through his Command deck? No, we'll have to get closer than this. Well, that sucks. Uh, you can get to right about there. And then we're going to want you to rotate back a bit. Excellent. We'll come back for the other guy in a minute. Rotate. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Still not passing through, though. They've just so much shielding down that central corridor. We're basically hitting them in the hardest spot they've got. We're punching them in the head with our bare fists. But that's okay. Our fists are covered in brass knuckles, so uh, I think we'll be grand. Uh, let's get a closer look at this carnage as it t unfolds. And... Eight rails. Well, there goes a chunk of you. Yep. That took out the command deck clean. They've still got one of those power cores left, which is good. Eh, target that. Oh no, his engines have gone down, have they? Yep, his engines are dead. They basically don't have enough command points to support themselves. Which means, we're going to pull back, and we're going to come in from the side and snipe out the engines. The other guy's coming up on us, but I think we can do this real quick. We just don't want to get too close in case he's still got active weaponry. All right. Uh, yeah. Flip. Fire. Come on. Perfect. Did unfortunately blow up the rails, but that's grand. They've still got four reactor cores. I want to scavenge as much reactor cores as we possibly can because uranium is our big bottleneck. If we want to make our ship to its maximum logical conclusion size of just extending these engines up and extending the rails up until we touch the top of the build area, we're going to need more reactors. Like, we need little reactors in here. We need, like, a lot of them. We're kind of very, very power hungry. And we're definitely, definitely not trying to skimp here. Oh, and is this the guy we've already injured? Wait, no. This is a completely new beast. Uh, you have one reactor core there, one there, one there. Okay, so you got a few reactor cores, but we're just going to go straight down the middle. We're going to go straight down the middle, and... Yep, that's... Nope. Rotate a little bit. Damn it, we might have to change our trajectory just slightly. Thing is, this guy, like, uh, line up. Then bring us back to about here. Then we're going to want to save those changes. Save attack defaults. Grant. Hey, rotate. Fine. And then rotate back. Yeah, you can you can try, buddy. It's not going to save you. We're just basically going to chew through you like you were a snack. Again. Nope, not far enough. Other direction. Oh, yeah, I think some of your missiles went. That means you've kind of exposed some of your juicy bits. And slurp, slurp, slurpity, slurp, slurp. Ooh, you do have a lot of shielding. 
think a couple more rotations should take care of you. I was kind of hoping we'd be a lot more powerful considering the amount of effort we put in, but I'm kind of glad that these guys are able to take this set of pounding. It actually makes for it being more interesting. I was just worried that we were going to try to one-tap one hit them and kill them all, and I'm glad we spent the time upgrading. If we had not spent the time upgrading, we would be in a lot more trouble right now. Ooh, that guy's taking a pounding. How? There we go. That was getting nerve-wracking. We were actually coming pretty close to our, uh, our support ship over here, and I was just getting concerned. Well, uh, we'll come back and grab you in a minute. We gotta go grab the other ones. Yep, there's two or three more ships to scrap, and I think that's probably a starbase. We need to see about getting more crew. We can afford it. I remember a little friend over here who was stuck on an asteroid. Uh, yeah, we managed to core out your little pieces from over there. Let's see if we can't core you out from this direction as well. And get it nice and close. Put a couple of rear rounds right through there. Absolutely surgical. Well, as surgical as it can be with rails, railgun thingies moving at, you know, several times the speed of sand type of yoke. Next up on the chopping block, or... Damn it, I still have not repaired that damage, have I? Uh, I'll get around to it in a minute. Okay, after this fight, I'll go back to our support ship and repair up that damage. What we have here is a Sol Calidus again. Uh, same scenario. Let's uh, smack that to bits. Damn it. No, he's turning a little bit sideways. I think we'll target this one instead. We can chew through things pretty quickly. All right, let's rotate back. Oh, how? We, like, just to get our rails just that little bit longer. And we'll be able to do that more consistently. Engine's completely dead. Basically, I think his weapons still work, so we wouldn't want to get too close. Those missiles look like they're still pretty deadly. But his engines are buggered, so we basically can just reorientate. Uh, in fact, we will just reorientate to over there. And then we'll snipe out the other command deck, and he's good to go. Over here, how are we doing? Uh, all we're taking out of these ships is... Well, no more steel. we got plenty of coils, hypercoils, tri-steel uh, diamonds, processors, and rich uranium. That's all we're really interested in, because, well, that's the stuff we need for our upgrades. We have 62,000 steel. We're, we're so good on steel, it's ridiculous. Uh, yes, yeah, 73 enriched uranium, no, that's the big bottleneck. Tri-steel even, we can get a decent amount. And worst case scenario, we can harvest the sun for even more tri-steel. Uranium, though, incredibly rare. Hey, you, we're lined up, and we'll fire. Guys, you can rotate a little bit more. No need to be... Yep, perfect. Looks like one of the star bases is under attack again. Uh, yeah, I, I think the missions in this are kind of predictable, but I'm okay with that. As long as the ships keep getting better. Now, ooh... You look shiny, and you look exposed right on that rear end right there. Quick, 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 get off those shots. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Oh! Yep, took the, e the end of it clear off. Oh, damn it, it's still got more control bays. I really thought they didn't have that many. Fine, 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 we'll take care of it the rest of the way. You, actually, we should probably be killed you first. Keep our distance. We don't want to be getting too close to these guys. Yep, there's a few more. Um, oop. Mm. Since you are probably more mobile, let's pound down your front door and see what happens. Ooh, these are fast. Rotate faster. Rotate faster. Yep, there goes one. Uh, grab that one over there if you wouldn't mind. Rotate back. And I think he's already dead in the water. That might have been a slight bit of overkill, but it's fine. I am okay with overkill. And rotate. Rotate back. May have rotated a little bit too quickly. I didn't give the railguns time to reload. Oh, and I still have not repaired the damage, have I? Done, and I think that guy's about to start drifting. Excellent. Uh, so we'll just uh, snipe out that there without taking out the reactor and that will be another successful kill chain say hello to another soul retinus and it's a pirate hunter 167 fame for killing this sucker uh we'll be aiming right there and we'll be aiming right there and we're gonna try and oh 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 yeah i, I i'm not even sure there's anything is that thing dead yes yes it is that was beautiful the whole rear end of it just vanished. All the command and control vaporized. Uh, 
actually wait no there's still that thing left but we don't care we don't care we're no longer targeting that part of it uh how do we untarget that no it's fine stop stop it's dead it's dead no need to pick on it any further jesus <laughs> i'm not sure why exactly it's dead it still has a command deck but i presume because it's disconnected from the rest of the ship Oh, interesting. Well, it's just a, I saw one of them floating by while we were waiting for our other ship to catch up with us, and uh, I thought I'd go out and take a stab at it. We have located another pirate hunter. Uh, I don't think we'll get as lucky with the shooting this time around. Oop. Maybe, maybe not. What have you got going on? Well, there's both your command decks. Oh, damn it, they're right beside your reactor cores. That could be problematic. I suppose we could sever it through... What would happen if we severed this half of the ship? Oh, no, they'd still have reactor cores and all that. Never mind. We'll target that, and oop, he's got missiles, run away, uh, and rotate while you do it. Ooh, no, we just lost engines. We just took damage. Oh, wow. That is not good. I like it. Uh, let's target that instead. In fact... No, never mind. The thing's gotten attacked from two sides now, so we don't mind so much. Uh, no, and I think I targeted the wrong thing. Is this the command? Yeah, that's the control room, so we'll keep targeting that. Once they lose that, they're basically dead in the water, and... Oh, yeah. They're getting attacked from two sides. I'm kind of glad that other ship came along to help us out. This might have been problematic otherwise. Ooh, thank you for the assist, uh, Kyber. We're gonna, yeah, bugger off for a bit and get some repairs. This is the first serious piece of damage we've taken so far. I like this area. That was quite a decent amount of damage we took. We might need more shielding on the edges there. Also, probably more anti-missile stuff. I've been kind of skimping on the defenses, but that ship's proved we need more. Hmm, we also need more reactors. Damn it, we need more of everything, except for probably crew. Uh, if we check here, how much crew can we hire? We can hire 196 souls. Sure, we're going to have 581 crew. That will make salvaging a lot easier. God, like, how are we going to spend that much crew? We've become very crew efficient, so now we can become crew inefficient if we so desire. Oh, and I should probably get some more crew over onto our, uh, our ship, namely because we just sort of lost some. Yeah, we lost six crew. They died in that explosion. They will be remembered, whatever their names were. I'm beginning to find the mining lasers inefficient because they start digging through the armor to get to the soft juicy bits, whereas the other the crew just sort of flies over and grabs the juicy bits. I think we want to turn off the mining lasers. So long as we're not going for the actual steel, we, we don't need them. Oh, no, we have actually found a uranium asteroid right over here, so we should probably go over and mine that, then turn off the mining lasers. It's just, I don't think they're necessary anymore. Oh, and we should probably go in here and clear out this area. Here comes a fugitive bounty. Oh, it's going to interfere with our pirate hunter killing. Ah, I remember you. You're quite tough. You've got a real gun and you've already launched it. Uh, we're going to take that out on you. Also, we should... You know what? Let's just start rolling backwards. I don't think your real gun shot can hit us if we keep going backwards, can it? Never mind. Uh, it turns out our flak took care of it. That's why we've got flak installed. I think we're going to need to put in some more flak and more point defense as well to help cut down... Like, we took out most of those, but not all of them. Now it's time to return fire. Yeah, straight down the middle, if you wouldn't mind. Yep, there goes his railgun. Good luck with that. They're taking out some of our railguns. I can see it there in the... in this screen up here. I can see that they're hitting us with some of those power-draining things, which is annoying. But, we've still got so many rails, they can't take them all. Hey, you can take out a few, buddy, but you can't get a lot of them. And there goes a bunch of your missiles as well, which is going to make our life easier. And I think about one more rotation should do it. Problem solved. We have found ourselves a pirate hunter, and their name is Baal. Well, 
I'm not saying someone who makes this game likes P90s, but I'm pretty sure someone who makes this game likes P90s. All right then, let's, uh, yeah, this is the same type of guy again. The missiles are quite annoying and powerful, but actually, let's start reversing. I haven't had boosters on this ship in a while, but, ooh, ooh, ooh. yep, there we go. And we're going to target that. In fact, let's start targeting his railgun first. We want to take out the railgun. We can take out the railgun. We cut down on their firepower, then we'll take out the missiles. So, railgun. Then the missiles. Then the core. That basically reduces the amount of damage and annoyance we're going to deal with from these guys. Yeah, there you go. Railgun already gone. Now he's got a whole bunch of armor right here. But we can shave that off, bit by bit. Yep. Or maybe chunk by chunk, whatever way you want to think of it. And rotate back. Perfect. That has defanged him. He's still got a few missiles at the rear, but the re What? Who are you? What are you? Is that a mine? Uh... Oh. When did that happen? Um... Right. Well. I probably should have been paying more attention. We should go back and get those crew people sort of quickly. Dear God. Okay. I think I need to redesign the ship a bit. I think some redesign is going to be in order. Uh, guys? You want to get on board? Sorry about leaving you behind. It was just, you know, things were a little bit crazy back there. Uh, we're going to need storage for you, aren't you? Or like a... Yeah, I don't think we have enough crew capacity to actually take you back on board. Um, sorry? It's just we run a very tight ship in terms of resources. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get our other ship over here, but unfortunately I think you're going to be dead before we can get the repairs done necessary to give you cargo bays or person bays. Maybe you can, like, hang around in the airlock until we get it replaced. That is one hell of a mess. And that swarm of midgets, I think, is the enemy ship's personnel. Ugh. Well, it's fine. We can repair the ship up. With our ship repaired, it's a uh, time we made a few changes. Uh, I think one of the ones I can make here is I was making a mistake when it came to these engines. I was putting one medium reactor for every six engines, namely because, well, each one of these reactors, each one of these engines uses 0.4. So that's 4, 8, 12, that's 2.4 power they're drawing. However, you have to increase it by 50% because they're getting a 50% bonus from this. Also, this draws a uh, 0.1, so it's actually 2.5, which means you're drawing 5 power when all of these are active at once. And this generates 4.5. But then it kind of dawned on me much later, uh, you can't use all six engines at the same time. You can only use three. You're either moving one direction or the other. So we can have the amount of reactors in here. Which means we can just do something like... Oh. This. We can say grab all of you and delete you. We don't need you at all. You can just go. And uh, then we'll have to do some minor changes here. We'll chuck that down a little bit. Move this up one so that we have a hallway between these two areas. Uh, stick in a doorway. We'll then have to move the whole thing across a little bit. Uh, yeah, something like, damn it. And now I have to remember where to line it up. Uh, right about there. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, it's happening the other side as well. We've got mirror image going on, so it's very convenient to do this. And we will need some more crew in here, but I'm thinking six more crew should be sufficient. Actually, four more crew will be sufficient. We'll get two to go in there, two to go into that engine room, and then six to run power between the two. That should cover everything. And then what we can do is, hopefully we have enough room. What about if we just rip out all of this? The whole way to the edge. And then we just copy-paste this. Right about there. And that doubles the amount of engines we've got, which means we can start removing some of the engines maybe from the front, or it gives us options for defense that we didn't have a few minutes ago. Oh, uh, some of these guys are now in the firing line. Damn it, let me do some tweaking here. That is the exact same amount of reactors as we had before, but we've managed to squeeze in six extra engines each side. I'm going to call that a win for uranium efficiency. Now, what I'm thinking of doing is 
basically taking all of our defenses and defensive weapons and moving them forward beyond the range of these engine exhausts and basically just making this a duplicate of this. So this entire area here will just be replaced with engines and then we'll move all our defenses and shielding up to the front. We won't have any sh engines on the front of the ship facing forward. We will just have defenses to keep us protected to prevent any nasty railgun shots coming through. Maybe even a few armor plates to prevent anything that does get by. Oh, and uh, do we have enough crew for this ship? Please tell me I didn't accidentally leave some people in space to die. That would be... No, no, nope, they're fine. They're fine. There's there's space, at least a couple of spaces for them. With that adjustment, we get 105 meters per second. Exact same amount of reactors and stuff, though. Okay. Now, oh, you know, I should really go into a test map to do this, but let's do a little bit more building here. I kind of like having it right at this location. So basically, we're going to rip out all of that defenses and engines and all that other mix. Get rid of it. And then we're just going to extend onwards here. And we're going to build an entire layer of defenses just at the front. So the front of our ship will be nothing but defenses. That makes far more sense, doesn't it? This is what I've sort of come up with. We have two flak cannons, one heavy shield. Done. And that will be it. This is, its whole job will be just to hold on. It's a small power reactor. We're relying on flak to do a lot of the heavy lifting here. We just want to keep things from getting close enough to us. And flak allows us to do most of that. The shield should only have to pick up the slack every so often when the flak can't take down the damage. It should be only intermittent. The only thing we'll be dealing with will be long-range stuff like missiles and railguns. Slow rate of fire, which means we have plenty of time to use the ammo factory and the adjacent sulfur storage to make enough ammo to keep this whole thing running. And it takes two people to run that, two people to run that, so we're only putting in six people here. You could probably put in a couple more. You know what? We have about 500 people who are doing nothing, so... Yeah, let's, let's put in eight people per section. And by per section, I mean we'll just go grab that. And go like that. And maybe like that. And oh, maybe like that. Hmm. Can't quite get it into there, though. Give me a second. Well, bugger. We don't have enough tritanium. I didn't really collect a lot of tritanium in the last level because I didn't think we are going to need it. But uh, turns out we are if you're going to want to pile on all these defenses. I figure plenty of extra shielding, plenty of flak cannons... We need to stop rail shots before they go through and core out part of our engines. It'll also stop missiles long before they get to us. I'm thinking two, four, six, eight flak cannons on each side. That's 16 flak cannons for defense. Don't, no idea how long this is, how much this is going to slow us down by. Can't afford it though. I'll have to go back and grab a bunch of titanium. Damn it. Well, I'm going to have to go off and grind up a bunch of metal to upgrade our ship. But before we do that, let's just go pick a fight with something else. I went looking and we found ourselves a liquidator. Cool looking ship. Uh, however, it's only a level 15, so I don't even think we get experience out of this. Yet, it still scares me, which is kind of nice. It, look at the amount of flak cannons on the front of that thing. Uh, let's slow this down a bit. Okay, you get in range and... Never mind. It seems the flak cannons cannot keep up with enough railguns. Well, that was kind of the plan. We wanted so many railguns that there was just no way any ship could, well, shoot down all of them. And so long as they're long enough railguns that do enough damage, well, you're gonna hit and something's gonna go down. And there goes your everything. Eh. If he's completely disabled, oop. Don't, don't do that. You'll probably take out the reactor core. We kind of want, you know what? Do do that. You got it from there. And fire? Some of those flak cannons are still actually functional, which... Huh. Slightly surprising. Oh, never mind. Problem solved. This ship looks like it's already had a run-in with someone. Like, some of these weapons look like they have been chewed up. However, it's still alive, so... Then let's give it some respect. I mean, not a huge amount. We're still gonna just railgun it to oblivion from outside of its effective weapons range. But not because we don't respect it, but because that's how we kill stuff. And... Right down the middle, nothing left. Uh, they do have a friend, though. And their friend is identical. The Flaming Spire. Well, sorry, buddy. It's going to be pretty much uh, much of a muchness for you when it comes to staying alive. And one more. And done. Right. Well, let's hope some of them have some tritanium in them. I remember this guy. Three react- yeah, yeah, this is just an upgraded version of that, uh, well, beam wall type thing. Yep, doesn't matter. We're just gonna shred him, actually. Oof, you missed. 
Well, once you've killed that one, kill that one, and then kill that one. We've got to keep an eye out for whatever that is over there, and this guy over there, the monarch. Ooh, that monarch guy looks... What the... Looks cool. Looks definitely super cool. Uh, you can just start reversing. I don't know which one of these is faster, and considering the area we're in, I'm not going to mess around. Okay, Monarch seems to have more welly, so Monarch gets shot first. Also, its defenses seem... a lot of shields on the outside. Oh, that is really cool. Like, this is where its power core is, and its uh, cockpit. So it's defended these with loads of shields, and then its center area is completely undefended, but contains all of its weapons, so it's got a whole bunch of armor plating here. So you gotta choose. Do you want to chew through the shields, and deal with all of its weaponry? Oop. Or do you want to, like... Ooh. Never mind. I think we're close to killing one side of it. Eight rails makes a hell of a mess really quickly. And that's one half of it gone. Oop. Yeah, I I don't think that's gonna work out for you. Don't turn your don't turn like that. Yep. Yep, that's that done. And we got one more over here. Where is our support ship? Whew. Okay, support ship is finished demolishing that. Let's go over there and grab that. Where were we? Oh yes, dealing with you. You don't seem like cool. Yeah, we're just gonna go with the same policy as before. Take out the command decks, worry about everything else second. Plus, you're so slow, I'm pretty sure we can just sort of grind through you at a reasonable pace. Yeah, that's one. And that's two. And running away won't help you now, and that's three. Well, that worked out really nicely. Another pirate hunter, but this time level 15. I think what's happened is... Down here was level 16 stuff, over here is level 15, and the area we're in does have level 17 stuff. So before I go dipping my toes into this area, which is most likely the level 17 stuff over here, should probably upgrade the ship. So let's maybe acquire some more resources from people like this. Oh, yeah, that's got to go, then that, and that should be the end of that. And, no, no, you're going to have to rotate a bit faster than that. Oh, damn it. Guy got to turn just in time. Fine, we'll have to hit you on the other side then. And they've got missiles and things, but I don't think they're going to be too effective. Oops. Uh, kind of caused a bit of a chain reaction there. Well, yeah, it's grand. We'll just zip down here, turn sideways, core at the last of it and be done with it. There looks to be a pack of ships over here doing some damage. Uh, or fighting something. Yeah, let's maybe zip in and see if we can't pick off a, one or two of them from the side. I imagine they're smaller ships. Yeah, they're pretty tiny. Uh, how fast are you, though? Are you fast enough to dodge railgun shots? I'm betting you're not. Very few things are. And by very few things, I mean, well, nothing. Yep, there we go. Ooh. You're making a mess of that guy. Let's get in there and give him a hand. You, quick, take out that one. Come on. Come on. Hey, we're trying to help her out. Oh, there's another one bites the dust. This guy is very helpfully pushing himself around. We can just slide in there and... Nope, nope, nope. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Quick, quick, quick. There we go. Another one bites the dust. This is a lot easier when they're tiny. Oh, well. Uh, let's find the last one. Seriously, are you just going to spin around in circles now? You're meant to be our ally here. I would like to see your cannons fire. I don't think he can actually get in range. His engines are too busted. Eh, uh, fine. We will shoot that guy right there. And that should be the end of it. Problem solved. You're welcome for the assist. A level 17 pirate hunter with dual rail guns. We are totally not ready. Oh, they also have tractor beams. Um, no, 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 you are not allowed to exist. We're going to chop out those railguns super quick. Um, oop. rotate immediately. Uh, yeah, rotation would be key. You're firing from the right ones, so get the left ones in on that. Ooh, then we'll... Damn, took off the side engines. Nope, center point's holding. 
And rotate back. There we go. One of them down. And our flak cannons are taking out the rest. Oh, yeah, well, there goes most of your firepower. Now all we got to do is take out your command and control. So you got two control rooms. Oh, God, it might just be easy. Like the amount of armor between us and them. I think we're just going to pop the reactors. They're closer and easier. Unless this guy turns around. There's no way I'm pounding through the sheer quantity of armor it's going to take to get to those control rooms. Not worth the effort. Plus, he's kind of slow. Is his engine's working? Uh, has he stopped moving? It seems like he's not moving anymore. What happens if we uh, do this? In that case, yes, we will target that. And... Then that. But only after... Nope, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, no, he's discovered he's still mobile. Never mind. Let's just go back to normal then, shall we? Good old-fashioned smashing down the front door and worrying about repercussions later. Uh... Oop. Come on. Oh! Maybe we should have went for the control rooms. We literally just cored a hole all the way back. Uh, we got to go back and repair. Uh, hopefully we've got enough resources now to upgrade. If not, mm, well, clearing out the area so we can continue our upgrades. They, unfortunately, a pirate hunter got a little bit closer to the star base we were about to upgrade at than I would like. We've run into a level 15 pirate hunter, which is mostly engines and stuff. I, oh, should probably slow the I, I'm not sure what this thing is meant to be doing, but... Uh, got some missiles on it and stuff, I suppose. Never mind, we'll just, uh, course straight through the middle, plunk out its armor, and... Yeah, there you go. Problem solved. Now, down here, I realized that the problem we were having was we didn't have enough resources. However, we had lots of money, so I just started hailing these ships. But I didn't realize these ships can actually stock lots of resources you really want, like uranium and... Ooh, there's some more tri-steel. We shall buy that, thank you very much. It's actually just faster to buy it off these guys than it was to mine all the stuff. Uh, this guy, I think we've cleared out already. This guy might be new. Uh, what do you got, buddy? You have... Yeah, you got 337 steel. Sorry, what am I doing? Wrong one. You have 19 tri-steel. We'll take it. And you have 7 enriched uranium. I, it's just much faster. True, that costs us 12 grand, but... When you look at the station, we've got a bunch of missions from like this one here pays 155 grand. We've got loads of money, so buying the stuff was actually the smart play. Who knew? Um, probably should have figured that out earlier. Anyway, we're going to come down here and get ready for upgrades. I am not sure how well this is going to work. It's never really been tested, but um, I suppose we'll see. It's going to have this weird hole in here where, uh, you know what, we'll wait till it's finished and then we'll, we'll talk about its stupidity and its goodness. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, let's load her up on crew and see how she can actually do. Every time I start to harvest with this ship, the song that goes through my head is... Hi-ho, hi-ho, it's off to work we go. We work all day and we get no pay. Hi-ho, 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 hi-ho. <laughs> Kinda wish I'd moved all of these up closer to the front so they have less distance to travel for their scrapping job. But hey, it works out. See how much resource we got. No, we're down to 57,000 steel. I think, considering how it works out where we can buy resources, I think we're going to harvest everything, including the steel. Everything. We're going to take the lot, sell it off at the shops, and then we're going to use that cash to buy more uranium and things we need at. Whoa! Uh, yeah, little, these are going to be little ones. The little ones are going to be coming in here, huh? Okay, that's enough. We want to, like, just barely get in range. Yeah, we're going to rotate around a bit. Oof. I think those two are chasing this guy. Um, like, if you're just going to ignore me, it's probably going to make me a little bit irritable. But that's fine. We've got plenty of railguns to remind you why we exist. Come here. Come on. Oop. There's one. This guy's a problem. Flip around. 
Point defense, flak cannons, problem solved. Yeah, uh, we're gonna... Ooh. This guy's just having fun. <laughs> he's like plowing into them with the head of this and he's like, buddy, I got so much armor plating, it's armor plating for days. And then he's just vaporizing them from the side. He's literally burning holes. I, I really got to build one of those ships. I think once we've maxed out the railgun ship, we might do that. Uh, this guy has lost one of his command decks. Now you can lose the other one. Uh, damn it. God, that thing got vaporized. You over here. What happens if we get really close to you? Like, that's the thing. Uh, we have a bunch of flat cannons on the front of us now. So... Let's just get close and see what the flat cannons do. Oh, wow. Well, that's a mess. Never mind, guy died before we could get in range. Okay, we'll just flip around and burn this guy to death. You, uh, right there should be fine. Nope, don't get in the way. Don't get it. Never mind, Nemesis made uh, a lovely mess. Well, this looks like a glorious mess, and it seems to be level 17 enemies, so... Let's get stuck in. Uh, anyone want to tangle? Ooh, 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 yeah, Beluga. Named after the whale, I presume. Well, you put your bridge really far close to the front. That's probably going to die real quick. You got another bridge back there. I'm thinking, ooh, whoa. Hit the reverse button there, buddy. Nope, oh, we got two belugas and a nemesis headed our way. And that's a lot. And I mean a lot of missiles. Let's slow this down a bit and see how we do. Okay, all the flak is down on the right side. That is bad. We're going to be depending on flak from the front. Okay, that guy's command deck is still intact. That's not good. Let's rotate back. And after eight rails go through that command deck, that should slow him down. Excellent. That guy's going to be less troublesome going forward. You, how are you doing? Still closing. EMPs have... St ah, no. Right-hand side is back up and running. You, caught, you got the drop on us early on, but now that that's over, it's time for us to get the drop on whatever makes it... Ooh, whatever you classify as your heart. I'm pretty sure we just put a spike right through it. Oh, and I'm pretty sure they just reached the tail end of their um, leash. So let's go grab this guy real quick from the rear. Now this is why we have engines that go both directions. It allows us to do dumb stuff like this. Oh, that guy's trying to turn. Can't be having that. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, damn it. Missed his bridge. In that case, we'll take out this guy. Right there. Uh, just keep an eye out to make sure no one else is trying to kill us. That guy has way too much armor plating on the front. It is going to take forever to break through this guy. Well, if he turns himself sideways like that, it's not going to be quite so hard. And we're definitely... I'm liking these. I mean, we went up against three guys, and two of them were quite dangerous for us, or would normally have been quite dangerous for us. And we somehow managed to... Oh, don't do that, buddy. Oh, right up the tailpipe. Yep. Unfortunately, we took out your power plant as well, but it's grand. Let's go back and nab these two guys. Reason being, they've both lost command decks. They're going to be at half power. We can just cripple them. Wait, is it the beluga whale or beluga caviar? Or maybe it's both. You know what? doesn't matter. We're going to eat it all the same. Now, should you have a second command deck somewhere? Eh, whatever. We'll figure it out if the first one, if you keep moving after we take out the first one. All right. That thing must be moving at a fair clip. It takes us so long to reverse, even with the sheer quantity of engines we were sporting. Oh, yeah, that guy's dead. Command deck's gone. He is a floating corpsicle. And here comes their buddy. You know what? Let's not even accelerate forward. Let's let their buddy come to us. And you are another beluga. So, yeah, definitely must have been the same one. But I feel like, ah, there it is. Yeah, we totally had cored that guy out from the rear. Hey, right, let's get him. Uh, we're going to have to take him from the front, but it uh, shouldn't be too hard. I, mean, I think we can speed it along a little bit. We know what we're doing when it comes to these guys. Oop. You definitely have a lot of armor plating, and he's wiggling around to try and utilize it the most, but that... Yeah, that was suicide. Fame level is up to Exalted. And there's another nemesis. I'm presuming this is a pirate base or something, just with the sheer quantity of ships that are around it. We've already killed one nemesis, two belugas, and... Well, you're gonna have to go down as well. 
you got a lot of flak on the front, but we're probably just going to end up chewing threads straight through the front of that. I think we got enough flak cannons, or enough cannons that we can. Ah, yep, yeah, there it is, pirate base. And the pirate base is actually pathetically weaker than the ships it's, that's defending it. That is kind of weird. You know what, doesn't matter. Let's just make sure we don't back up into one of their other ships and mess up our uh, defensive plans. Yeah, the guy's too slow. We'll reverse, chew him to pieces, kill his bridge, walk away. Pirate hunter! Pirate hunter in a dangerous neighborhood. Let's see how our ship does. I'm very happy with our defenses so far. In fact, we haven't taken a scratch. We took out all of those level 17 ships and we have not taken a scratch. Through, true, we are mostly just lots and lots of engines strapped to eight railguns, which you really need to extend. And our top speed seems to be 107 meters per second, which we kind of need. Some of those ships are really zippy. You. Nope. I say we keep charging at you and we target your command deck structures. How many have you got? Ooh, you got one right there. If we could take that one out, it would almost certainly hurt you a bunch. Um. Oh, damn it. Never mind. Oh! Managed to absorb a whole bunch of it on the armor and stuff. We almost took out the large reactor core by accident, but... Uh, he's... Is he backing off? He's actually trying to get away because he's a missile ship and he's trying to get us from distance. Buddy, we are... We are good with missiles. We have experience with missiles at this point, and we know exactly how to deal with them. Run backwards shoot a bunch, and make sure we're not going to back up into anything. Uh, where were we? Ah, yes. We were going to fire eight railgun shots right at you. You were going to have to tilt your armor a bit so that you could absorb more of the damage. And you do have some point defense of some sort there that I can see. And so far, our point defense is completely nullifying any missiles you're firing, because I'm seeing nothing even getting close to the shields. Seriously? I was kind of shocked how long it took us to break through that. We definitely need to extend the railguns. That's the next step. More railguns. Damn, that thing is tough. Oh, engines are dead. Huh. Well, if the engines are dead, that makes our life an awful lot simpler. Let's... Yeah, let's get him from this side. We can come around from this angle. We can basically just shoot him from the side and not worry about it. And open fire. Beautiful. I kind of do want to surgically take this apart, but at the same time, let's just uh, speed things along, shall we? Yeah, that kind of just... Boom. Problem solved. There's not much to actually scrap out of that piece of junk, but I think it proves the point. We're quite decent at this point. We can, we can effectively outrun anyone in either direction, which means it's probably time to start thinking about moving on to the next level. We're, this is 15 to 17. Is there... What's the next highest? 16 to 18 is the only one I can see. Unless I'm missing something. 16 to 18. That is basically it. That is... Maximus Maximus. 16 to 18. There's two of them. Two 16 to 18s. Oop. Nope. Three. Never mind. There's another one over here. So... Yeah. I say we max out what we got here. As in, we grab this ship here. We push all of this stuff up to the very front, fill in with engines, fill in with railguns all the way up to the front, so we've eight max-length railguns, and then uh, see what we can do in the last area. But that's going to take a bunch of farming here. I'll do a bunch of farming in the side. But I think we can confidently say the ship's got it. I'm going to get busy farming so we can double our engines and double our railguns, and uh, next episode it'll be final missions. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I hope you enjoyed, and good luck. Mm -hmm.